There are new developments as well this morning, the sexual misconduct scandal that has enveloped the Roy Moore campaign. As we mentioned earlier, his wife now coming to his defense and ABC's Stephanie Ramos is covering that angle from our Washington Bureau. On the steps of the Alabama Capitol Friday, Kayla Moore standing by her man. He has always been an officer and a gentleman. Embattled Senate candidate Roy Moore. Let me set the record straight. Even after all the attacks against me, against my family, against the foundation, and now against my husband, he will not step down. Moore's campaign coming under fire recently as allegations of sexual misconduct with teenage girls have been launched against him. Claims he denies. They're not only untrue, but they have no evidence to support them. Kayla Moore also defiant, taking aim at her husband's accusers, his Democratic opponent, the media, and even President Trump. All of the very same people who were attacking President Trump are also attacking us. I personally think he owes us a thank you. <laughs> Have you noticed you're not hearing too much about Russia? <laughs> to the president, I would say now is a good time to get some things done in Congress. President Trump hasn't said much about the more allegations, a decision that's been criticized. He has weighed on Roy, on, on Roy Moore. He did it while he was on a foreign trip in Asia. I did it repeatedly yesterday. In fact, I took about 15 questions on that topic. But Kayla Moore rallying the people of Alabama in defense of her husband. The people of Alabama understand what's going on here. Her press conference also featuring female supporters of Moore who say he has oh never been inappropriate. He is the closest thing that any of us have observed to a founding father in our time. Even the governor of Alabama is still backing Moore. That's what I plan to do is vote for uh, the Republican nominee, Roy Moore. You heard from Alabama's governor there. I heard some of the same when I was on the ground in Gadsden, Alabama this week. A lot of Roy Moore supporters told me they stand with him because of his religious beliefs and values. They may not know who to believe, the accusers or more, but many told me they'll still vote for more. Paula, Dan. All right, Stephanie Ramos from Washington. Thank you so much for reporting, of course, that election coming up just around the corner on the 12th of December. Yeah.